coming back from Sydney Olympics, uh, Steve had obviously won his fifth gold medal. Uh, it was an amazing experience because British rowing was catapulted onto a pedestal that, to be honest, it's probably not stepped back from ever since because we've carried on with the consistent results. But that was the first time that rowing was sort of mass appeal. Millions of people had watched a rowing race to see Steve win his fifth gold medal. And all four of us, James Grattanall, Tim Foster, uh, Steve and myself, were members of the same club, a rowing club in Henley, Leander, and we had a club dinner. And uh, Boris Johnson then was our MP. He came to give a speech, which was hilarious. And uh, we all got very drunk. And at about two in the morning, I was in the club bar, and Jürgen, our coach, who probably is a book, a subject, uh, documentary, all of his own, uh, came up to me at two in the morning and put his hand around the back of my neck. And I thought, oh, this is going to be really lovely. This is going to be really sort of touchy-feely. And he's not a very emotional guy. You know, he's obviously German and he's quite, he's much slighter than us. So, you know, he's not a, diff he's a difficult guy to be sort of, uh, you know, intimate with. And, you know, for that, for that reason, it's, it's, you know, he's never, he's never like that. And he pulled me in really close, pulled, pulled my head down towards his and, and, and whispered into my ear, we should have won by more. And then he got our beer mat and wrote down all the winning margins between us and the Italian crew who won the silver in Sydney. And he put a big circle around the bottom one, which was 0.38, which is the winning margin in, in Sydney, 0.38 of a second. And he said, why? was that so small? How come we were leading that race by a second and a half or halfway and only won by 0.38? So in amongst all that celebration and all that sort of good feeling, there was someone, it's his job admittedly, but it, there was someone with an eye on that wasn't quite good enough.